Good morning, you guys. I am up early, ready to film. I mean, maybe I'm not ready to film, but I'm here. Thank you guys for literally all of your support. Like I I feel like overwhelmed in like a good way, you know? Um, Like for my first video from being so nervous for my second video being insanely vulnerable and like really just letting that door open. Like I don't think I've even told either my mom or a lot of my friends some of those experiences that I had and kind of how they affected me and how like what this feels like right now you know it's different and i'm still we're all still learning how to navigate between i don't know just with all that's going on it, it's kind of it's a lot and it is upsetting like i said we do just need to keep fighting and pushing for what's right and what's good in our country and the world i was talking to one of my friends last night and i was just telling her how i feel kind of guilty if i'm not like constantly posting about activism black lives matter like petitions to sign you know like all of the things that people are posting you know just giving resources and you know we were talking and she was like live like you've done so much not to say that i'm just gonna stop cold turkey because of course i'm going to keep fighting for my rights but she was like but this is also a time that you need to be creating and you know experiencing your life because like this is what we need to see that yes black people are you know very oppressed still but also that we still are living our lives and enjoying our lives and we can do both like i can work on fighting systematic racism and oppression while looking great and still creating and living my life it's not one or the other i can do both and so that was a good reminder for me because my brain was either one or the other and i was just being super hard on myself being like okay live if you focus on active activism you have to focus on activism like your videos have to be about activism your social media instagram whatever all focused on activism but it's like i can still do both i can still enjoy my life while being an activist that little tangent i just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching my videos liking and commenting don't forget to hit subscribe because you want to see more of my videos, whether it's activism, skincare, other things I'm working on. I have a lot of projects in the works with some of my very talented, very smart, amazing friends, and I cannot wait to share those. But again, they're not launched yet. So we will get right to today's video. And again, don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you feel like giving it a thumbs up, I would love that. Back to today's video. Oh, this, this is how I keep my hair snatched. But this morning you guys didn't come to see how I keep my hair snatched, even though like she is miraculous. We are talking about our quarantine skincare routine. Let me get more presentable and I will be right back. I am just gonna walk you through how I do my skincare routine in the morning and the products I use and kind of just talk about what I love about them. It's been quite a journey, my skincare routine, mostly because I used to be that person that was just like, either I didn't wash my face and I would just like throw on whatever and leave or I would like splash it with cold water and I was like okay that's cool like we're good but it's not and I have I've been blessed with like pretty good skin I don't have like acne or anything but pimples blemishes breakouts like those are still an issue especially right now during quarantine masks gloves like my skin is just like ah! I'm so sorry that sound also, I think I'm losing my voice because I talk constantly at work and we kind of have to shout because we have masks on and it's morning. So maybe I'll just say this is my like sensual morning voice. Let's jump right into the skincare routine. I have my glass of cold lemon water here with me and I brought it in my bathroom with me. Is that weird? I don't think so because I live alone and I'm clean, so. <laughs> Anywho, so I always, it's funny, I just said it was like, I wet my face and I leave. I always get, you start with a clean base. I always use a microfiber towel. Um, it just takes away all of the badness off your skin, especially from the night before. I don't really, since I do a pretty hearty nighttime routine. And I'll also attach that at the end of this video. We'll do like a cute morning night 
Since I do like a pretty thorough nighttime routine, my morning routine has just a little less steps, which is good because I am normally waking up late, either trying to read an article. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to not just like scroll through my phone in the morning. I would love to read an article or listen to a podcast or even journal, just like something to get my mind going and like slowly going throughout the day or even just like turn on some music and just meditate for a little bit. But this morning was not one of those mornings. Definitely scrolled on my phone. I yeah, just do something a light wash to wake up the skin so yeah i'll do a cold water my mirror is here so i gotta look in at it for a second i'll do a cold rinse on my face with a clean microfiber towel this just removes any of the extra you know excess dirt or even the oil from last night since we are putting more serums on right now we don't want to create any buildup so this is really good it just really is gentle and it takes the extra oil or anything from like your pillow or anything from the night before i do that and then i go in with a toner this is the witch hazel toner i'm currently in the process of getting another one it should be mailed or arrive very quickly and i'm very excited and i also use oh my gosh all my products are dirty so that's really embarrassing so i do my toner all over my face and I even do like my neck too because again we need a gentle exfoliant and we put oil on our necks you know gotta keep the neck youthful I also have been using these reusable cotton pads because I'm trying to be more eco-friendly and these are amazing I got these at Urban Outfitters in like January but I'm sure you can get them anywhere and they come with a cute little pouch so you can wash them inside the pouch and then they come out all like cute and clean and so I use those for toner or if I have any like really hard makeup to get off but honestly my cleanser just like takes it off so I really don't need to be extra with my cloths moment of water so after I let my toner, you know, absorb into my face, I go in with my first serum after my toner has set. So I have been using this brand religiously for the past month and I am obsessed. I just dabble in different things. I'll be like, oh, this sounds like it's good. I hear good things about this. I'm going to try this. But with this brand, I was like, okay, I'm going to buy what, like four products from them, try them and really see how, you know, how they go with my skin. And, you know, if it's like something I really want to like incorporate into my morning and nighttime routine and I can say I am obsessed with this brand right as quarantine was starting I was getting but I was getting like mini zits like all right here I don't know I was just getting these breakouts and I think it was from you know wearing our masks and breathing into it and it can get like it's just like swampy is a gross word but it gets like moist like you're breathing into like either a cloth mask which are what we are wearing at work <sighs> Too much for my face right here so I have been using the brand first please sponsor me I have been obsessed I love it because they're still great quality ingredients they are pretty sure it's vegan they don't do any animal testing and maybe gluten-free but I'm gonna have to double check on that so they have some amazing products it's really cool when you hop on you can take a skincare quiz and they'll give you three items in a bundle which will obviously make it cheaper and also I think the packaging is so cute it's all cute and pastel colored these are all my products and I will go through each one of them but they're just like the cutest little packaging it's just like the cutest color I have like two more things coming in the mail and I'm so excited first I love you and I just think the packaging the product it speaks for itself it's amazing so this is the clarifying serum I just do three, like three drops all over then I kind of do like a light rub pat it and let it soak it on my skin if this is made for specifically problem skin so fighting against especially like pollution in the air and I would even say like pollution from the masks like having that cotton like rub up against my skin and breathing into it and then just having it sit there for like five six hours at a time like that can be so harsh on your skin so it's really important to, one that we're taking care of our skin because we're gonna have this skin for life so we want it to be healthy and glowing all the time and we want to age gracefully and two I love doing my skincare because it's like I get to do little blips of self-care every single day twice a day and it like it almost like keeps me going because that sounds like slightly dramatic but it's just like so fun I get to take a moment for myself sometimes I can play a podcast I love taking these moments for myself and being able to just like take care of myself you know it feels good like when you are really thirsty and you drink like a big glass of water and you're like oh like I just feel so good literally how I feel so I let the serum sit in for about a minute or two just to soak into my skin and then after that this is the hydrolonic acid it's called hydration station I think the names are so freaking cute and so I you can mix this into a serum or 
moisturizer. The cool thing with hyaluronic acid is it's thicker than water. So it is like moisture station. So in the morning I do this instead of a moisturizer because that can be kind of a lot. And then I do my moisturizer at night so my skin can like. But this lasts me all day and I don't ever get like dry patches. I used to get really dry around my nose and again right here. This area is an issue. But she has been staying like plump and moisturized all the time. So it's great. My morning skincare routine is actually like really simple, which is really nice. Cause again, like I say, I always wake up late. Comes with another little pump and you just like push this top button. And then I just do a few draw. Careful not to touch the syringe, like the dropper to your face. Cause we, even though our skin is clean, we just don't need to put that back in the product, you know? And then I will do, I get like eye bags. And I don't know if it's because I don't sleep enough. They just look puffy. So I do that and then one more thing, but it's in the fridge. I'm about to get a, I should say I'm about to. In the works of getting like one of those mini fridges for your skincare, just like right in the bathroom. Cause one, I think it's adorable to be that extra with your skincare, but I also love having skincare that comes out of like a cold fridge and goes on your skin. It's refreshing. So I also use Glossier again. Sponsor me, please. Um, I have been obsessed with Glossier since day one and they have this bubble wrap, like eye, it's, yeah, it's called bubble wrap. It's an eye and lip plumping treatment. So what I do, like a few squirts and I'll dab it on my lip. Oh, it's so cold, oh, and my eye area. And then yeah, you just like pat it in really, really lightly. I read somewhere that each finger applies like a different pressure. So I was reading, especially like when you're putting on makeup and stuff under your eye, you really need to use a light pressure because it is such a very soft, sensitive area. And so I read somewhere that it was either your ring finger or your middle finger to apply the pressure because you have more control. Your pointer finger does go in with like a harder press, so weird bit of knowledge but yeah i kind of keep that to soak in then what i normally do is i'll eat breakfast come back do a little bit of my makeup i haven't been doing full makeup because i'm wearing a mask 80 percent of the time that was my morning skincare routine it's time to wash the day off my face like I can't even tell you how good it feels to be home, first of all, to relax in my apartment where I really don't have to talk to any but anybody and to not have to wear the masks. Like this much of my face is covered for like 10 hours of the day and it's exhausting. So I'm done. I'm not done because I have to go to work in a few more days because off tomorrow. I just am sick, I hate the masks, but I wear them because it keeps everyone safe. Wear your masks. For my nighttime routine, let's kick it off. So I use, again, like I said, Versed is like the bad bitch I use all the time. This is the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. And it's like, mm, this, it has eucalyptus oil, vitamin E, and it's like this yummy, balmy texture. Like you old, like really don't need that much. Like this is probably good enough. And that's just like a fingertip. And then what I do is I just like rub it between two and like rub it all over my face. And then once you get it kind of spread all over your face, you're gonna to wanna to wet your fingertips a little just to make it a little a thicker balm. And then that's good. Then I'll get with my clean microfiber towel and pat my face dry. Don't wipe it off dry. Like just, you know, do the whole like pat, pat, pat. God, I'm like the messiest person when I wash my face. I got water literally all over my shirt. Once my face is completely dry, I'm gonna do one of my favorite face masks that I have got. It's a product from The Ordinary. It's their AHA 30% and the BHA 2% peeling solution. It's like a 10 minute exfoliating facial. It is honestly amazing. I used it already twice. It's one I like, it just speaks for itself. It's really fast acting. And I feel like it really just like helps my skin get rid of any extra like oil that's sitting deep in my pores or any extra like dead skin cells that are sitting on top of my pores. So what you can do, spread it all around your face and then you let it sit for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put this on and then let it sit for 10 minutes and then I'll be back. Hey Google, start timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes. Starting now. 
All right, let's go. A little longer than a few minutes later. In 10 minutes, I'm going to wash this off. So my skincare from here takes about the same turn it does in the morning. I don't need to do a toner because I just did that mask. But normally I would just do the toner like I did in the morning. Then I go in with the clarifying serum again you know just getting like trouble areas especially around my mouth i think i'm gonna focus it on like the lower half of my face because all i wear is the mask get some on my neck because sweat press it in and then we're gonna let that sit for two minutes just to soak in this is the ordinary rose hip oil it was another really great price point a really really great quality of the ingredient like it's really great when you see a cold pressed rose hip oil it needs to be that like coppery brass color and so it's really bomb that like theirs is and so a good thing with like rose oil when it is cold pressed you do want to keep it in a darker place that's like dry so with this i just keep it in my cabinet so it's not just sitting out like being exposed to like sun or light or whatever but it's good that this bottle is also dark so it does keep that in so i like really apply this kind of i just apply it to my face but i also apply it to scars so, like i got burned on the arm by a cigarette at a club last year we can go into that story or you know i kind of just apply it to any like stretch marks any acne any blemish or mark that's left any dark marks and then after a while it takes it away so i just will put this on my face it's weird to put this much stuff on my face at night like to go to bed with like an oily face but it feels so good and then you feel it like soak in so it's really not that big of a deal so this is the thin soak sin skin soak rich moisturizer guessed it from verse this is just one you have to apply at night like i said in the morning we use the hyaluronic acid which is just as moisturizing if not more than a moisture or just as moisturizing just in a different way it's a serum instead of a cream that was my skincare routine morning and night thank you guys for watching i love talking about skincare if there are any questions you guys want me to either research or find out for you drop them in the comments if there are any products that you think i should try or have any questions about if you want me to try drop that in the comments as well see you guys next week for a new video don't forget to like the video subscribe Bye.